Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of my Iron Man series. Currently, I am just going to AFK in Nightmare Zone. I think I'm going to go for 90 defense, and then once I hit that, we're going to go back to God Wars and finish the Zemarok task that we started in the previous episode. Uh, yeah, so come with me on this journey and see where we get to. There's 87 defense. Unfortunately, I missed 86 defense. Uh, I was AFKing too hard and logged out before um, noticing. So hopefully that doesn't happen too many times during this. Let's keep going. And there's 88 defense. Alrighty. Just here at Temporos, uh, I want to go for the uh fishing barrel and try to collect some flakes along the way i'm doing the solo method so hopefully it doesn't take too long not bad got 11 permits for that one game pretty good the new solo method is really really nice all right not too bad rewards from the first game let's keep going and another kill. That's another 11 tokens and a new point PB. The rewards from that game were not as good, but we'll try again. Alrighty, a new PB, 4 points and permits. 12 permits, 10,000 points. Alright, that's another reward session done. Not great, but not bad either. Let's go again. Okay, another game done. 9,000 points that time, but we got 12 points. Not sure why we got 12 when we got 1,000 left points, but let's go see what we get. Yeah, pretty average loot this time. A lot of flakes though, which is always nice. Let's go again. Another game done. 11 tokens. Yeah. Decent, decent haul. Let's go back for another one. Okay, another game, 11 permits. That's a pretty shitty haul. No no spirit flakes at all. Alright, another one done. 10 tokens. I really don't understand how the token systems work. Sometimes you get 11 for less points. It makes no sense to me, but we'll keep going. Decent, decent haul. Um, a lot of flakes, a lot of mantas. Let's go do another one. That's another game done, another 10 points. I think I'm going to save up 100 permits and fish them all at once. So I'll update you when that's done. 11 tokens. Another 10 permits. And another 11 tokens. And another 11. And another 11 tokens. Okay, another 12 permits. Another 11. Go okay, another 12 tokens. We're at 99 permits. I'm gonna go open them all now. Hey, we got the fish barrel. That's what we were here for. Howdy. That is all of the rewards. And 500k. Not bad. A lot of fish, which is really nice. Now we gotta go restock our food supplies. Alrighty. We've just finished gathering up a whole heap of food. Caught a thousand anglers, sharks, and carambon. So now I'm going to cook it all. But before that, I'm going to turn my grapes into jugs of wine. Which means I need to fill all of these jugs. So let's go and do that. Accidentally let my wines ferment and... Just had an 834k XP drop and 87 cooking. And last three wines to make here. Just waiting a couple of seconds for the wines to ferment. And we get a big, big XP drop and another cooking level. 
And there's 89 cooking. We've finished all of our carambines and we've just started on our sharks. There's 68 fletching. Coming in with another level, 69 fletching. You can now finally make a rune crossbow and rune bolts, but not very useful. That's... And this is going to be a pretty big milestone. 90 cooking and 2000 total level. That's a nice looking number. Oh, nice. We got a crystal armor seed and a crystal weapon seed in the same drop. And there's a 98 magic. Oh, that was my best trip yet. 28 kill count. Oh, not kill count, but total kills. Pretty good trip. That's 97 strength. Hey, we got the Zami Sphere. That's what we were here for. We just finished our Greater Demons task. We ended up doing the whole thing at Zami, and we got the Zami Sphere. So that's really good. Let's go get a new task. Yeah, another Lizardman task done. No hammer still. But we're not even at the drop rate, so that's fine. Just got the Seer Cull. That's needed for a clue scroll at some point. And a Warrior Ring back to back. And a Dragon Axe. That's number two. Hey, we got our Archer's Ring. And another Dragon Axe. Okay, just finished off our task. Nothing else to report. Hey, we got an Unsired on the first kill of the drip. Hell yeah, bludgeon piece number two. So I've just logged in after the new combat diary has come in and we've already completed 36 out of 400 tasks. Um, I'm going to slowly go for these over time. I'm here at Sire, so let's see what we can get done. Just about to get our first Sire task since the combat diaries come out. Let's see what we've got done. And we got four tasks done in one kill. That's pretty good. So for this task, I have to use vengeance on the explosion. There it is. I died for it, but got it done. And we got another on side. Oh, and be the last, be the last bludgeon piece. No, another hit. That's unlucky. And another on side. And it's another head. Third head now. Yes, I did it. That was really hard to do. I probably should have explained what that task was at the time, but essentially you have to kill Sire before the spawns grow up into their second form. Uh, it's a really tight DPS check. Uh, what I did was blood barrage the P2 spawns that he summons. And then it was just a DPS race in P3 to get him down within the 12 seconds of the new ones that he's constantly spawning in, transforming. Um, yeah, well, pretty much as soon as P3 hit, I just used my Dragon Dagger to spec him down. Um, I've since learned that people are using the Crystal Halley. Uh, apparently that's very good. I didn't even try that. So if that's if you're trying to do that, give give one of those two things a shot. Hopefully you can get it done. Hey, you got another archer's ring with the new loot beams and a mud battle staff and another berserker ring. It's kind of really weird to me that a berserker ring is less than an archer's ring. That's very strange to see. Alrighty, that's going to bring us to the end of another episode. Um, so we're just going to have a look at the uh, combat diary, the new update. Uh, we have 48 tasks completed, uh, which is not very many. Uh, for the next two weeks, there probably won't be a new video. Um, mostly going to be playing PoE. Uh, if you watch PoE at all, I'll be live streaming on Twitch. Um, 
So feel free to come and hang out. I have a link in the description. Um, once I come back from my little break, I'm going to get to work on the diaries, um, starting easy and working my way up. Uh, I rec did a few tasks this video that I forgot to record, pretty much just the DKs. Um, so I did the from one king to another, which requires you to kill Prime with a Rune Throne X special attack that has come from Dagonoth Rex. Um, it was kind of bugged. It took me like three or four attempts, like actual kills for it to count. I'm not sure why that was, but we got it done in the end. Uh, we also killed Prime while tanking the other two kings. Uh, not very hard at all, just prayer flick. Uh, we didn't do either of the Rex ones, apparently. But this one, I'm not entirely sure how to do. Uh, kill Dagnox, the Rex, and one other king at the exact same time. So hopefully someone has a method to do that by the time I come back. We still have our DK's task ready to go. And... Supreme, we did the death to the Archer King, just the same as the Prime one. And we've got to kill all three within nine seconds of each other. Uh, that one will be pretty easy. Just tank them and get them all low. It's no problem. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, once again, sorry for the next few weeks. Uh, there won't be any update videos uh i will go to nightmare zone and get to at least 90 defense as i said earlier in the video and once that happens i will either go wood cutting or mining mining for the amethyst uh so we can make amethyst darts down the road and wood cutting just because i would like to get to 90 one day to AFK some Redwoods. All right, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Once again, if you enjoy PoE and you would like to see some content on that, I will be live on Twitch. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe and leave a like. Uh, it helps out a lot. Also, if you do play PoE, leave a message in the comments what you plan to league start. Um and what league you'll play in. All right, guys. Bye.